<sighs> Just putting the microphone in. Trying to figure a way of... Can't actually see if it's on. Always right when I wake up is eight PM there. Good evening. Hello. Hello Cassie. Hello Cassie. And Janie Kidder Clemens is there. Hello. Hello. Um, welcome to Jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason. And I, this is Jason Chats. I've been asked by people, can you hear me okay? I hope that the microphone is close enough, there it is, to my mouth, but I don't know if the beard might get in the way of the sound. So the idea really is I'm just here to do, uh, just to hang out really kind of, in a way, and people have asked me if I wanted, if I could come on here a bit more often and do these uh, Jason chats, so I thought it'd be nice to maybe do it on you on Facebook and then download it, put it onto YouTube or something, so, and I can just answer any questions that you have, Um if you like and that's it really the mic is perfect oh brilliant okay it's in a perfect spot I found an old microphone thing I just found it in my drawer and it had a clip on it for the lapel so I just took it off and I've actually ordered one from Amazon which is uh, supposed to potentially could be better as well. But if this is working, then I might just use this. But I'll, I've ordered it anyway, so I might as well test it out when I get it. So yeah, I'm just in the process <sighs> of... Ah, okay, that's why. I've been trying to download a video to from Facebook to my I haven't got I've got, I've got is this but you can see that it's like a Chrome a Chromebook yeah and it's all right but it's not great for what I want it for. It's, it's not really any good for making recordings or um, editing. It's really just, uh, for me, it's just okay for going online onto the internet. So it's not you know, great. So I've um, ordered a new laptop which I should get in the next few days. And it's an exact copy of the one I had previously, just a reconditioned one so it's cheap. And then I'll be able to start doing a little bit, bit of editing or something like that. Hi, Kelly Coleman. Um, so yeah, how you doing Cassie this evening, morning? How's it going? go in there may be a couple of other people join us there may be no one it might just be me and you in fact it's really weird it's really difficult because it says there's one person on there but I can see more than one person so I don't know It's hard to figure out who's watching and who's not watching. And at the moment, it says there's one person watching. 
Um, Fiona said hi. Hi, Fiona, if you're there. I'm just going to reply. So that's what I'll do. I'll try and reply on here. It's not a bad picture, is it? Let's see if I can hear myself. Fiona said hi. Hi, Fiona, if you're there. I'm just going to reply. That's all right, isn't it? A delay though. It's not a bad picture, is it? See if I can hear myself. Fiona said hi, hi Fiona. If you're there, I'm just gonna Wow. That's all right, isn't it? So that's what I'll do. I'll try and reply on here. It's a delay though. It's not a bad picture. It's really weird. Looking at myself in the picture, hi Fiona. Looking at the I'm on Facebook on the uh what's it? Uh, the Chromebook and then hi Ian hi and then seeing myself and then there's the delay of that so there's a delay from what I see there to what I see there and then to what I hear very strange it's like a twilight zone or something see that's how long it took for me to say hello Ian Right, it's too... So a delay from... Right, I'm turning it down. But I can uh, I can reply to comments and stuff on here, as well as verbally, but I can also... Um, oh. Well, I could just reply verbally. I don't have to reply writing it down. I can't even bother to write stuff down. Not right, but type. My wrist just clicked. Oh, it's, if it's an age thing, but uh. sometimes when I wake up in the mornings, my hands are really stiff. You know, it used to be times when it, you know, um, I won't finish the sentence. But yeah, so when I first wake up in the morning, my hands, sort of all around my fingers, uh, are really quite stiff. And I feel a little bit like, you know, the Wizard of Oz, you know, the Tin Man. I feel like they need oil in. Like oil, that's my impression of an oil can. Just to get them moving. And after a while, they're fine. You know, no stiffness there at all, really. But... When I'm asleep, they sort of seize up. That was interesting, wasn't it? The problem is, especially like for those of you who watch the Let Me Bore You to Sleep sessions, if you watch these Jason chats, you start to realise that actually the Let Me Bore You sessions aren't anything different from me just talking about myself. And I really am that boring. And, you know, it looks like I'm, uh, could look like I'm really skillful at pretending to be the most boring person ever when that's actually <laughs> who I am. So it's, you know, it's, it's probably, oh, look at this. I, I should get myself a bit tidy. Look, I'm all crumpled. Do you like my t-shirt? Trust me, well you can see what it says, trust me I'm, yeah, trust me I'm a hypnotist. That's it, I've run out of things to talk about. So Fiona says, what have you been up to today? Well, what did I do today? I'm still waiting. Uh, I'm going to bed quite late or early, so I don't go to bed till last night, probably about five this morning or six this morning. No, it was gone six actually, because I was watching TV AM or Good Morning Britain or whatever on telly. So it was gone six o'clock. I didn't want to go to bed. I like being awake at night and I don't like going to bed. I like having naps, 
really enjoy a nice little nap. You know, right now I could go and lay down for an hour and it's lovely. But come two, three, four, five, you know, I don't, even if I'm tired, I don't want to go to sleep. I start behaving like a little kid, a little toddler that's refusing to sleep, but sort of trying to keep their eyes open. And I'm sure that's how I used to be when I was younger, and I still kind of am. And I don't even know why that is. Just that I want to do things, you know, when I'm awake. And I, I seem to come alive at night. And I want to do stuff. But at the moment, I can't, I'm limited because I don't have a laptop. But I will have one, hopefully soon. Well, I will do in the next couple of days. So what have I been up to it was the question, wasn't it? See, I can't just give an answer, a straight answer. I must be an absolute nightmare in job interviews. You know, there's an ask like a straight question and I'll just go, ooh, ooh, yeah. I've, I've been in job interviews where I've just seen their eyes glaze over. Dalton, hi Dalton, has joined us. Um... So what did I do today? Yeah, so I got up. I actually got woken up by the door being knocked on. So I answered the door, let my friend in, had a cup of coffee, and then, yeah, I probably went back to bed. I might have had to see if I might have had some breakfast. I probably had some breakfast, and. Um, should I do a warning about like only watch this when you can safely close your eyes? Because I'm I am realizing that all I'm doing is just exactly what I do with the boring sessions. But anyway, so I woke up, I did that. I think I went to sleep. I went back to bed for a couple of hours. Then I got up. Oh yeah, I got up. This is interesting. I woke up at. 2.55 in the afternoon and I was excited because I got up sometimes I, I, I go to sleep and I, I wake up a bit late but then I, I woke up and I thought looked at my clock or looked at the phone 2.55 Minder Minder's on on ITV4 so I got a little tinge of pleasure of anticipation of oh you know so I turned the TV on and it was darts Dart, some dart championship. And I just, I was disappointed. Really, you know, I'm sure darts is great and I'm, you know, I've got, I'm not, got nothing against darts, but it's not minder. It's not the same. And I've got this little tradition now since I've been, because I've, I've been off work for four years now, I think it is, something like that. And so I've got like a, not so, sort of a routine, and it changes around sometimes. But uh, I like to go, I like to watch at least one program in the afternoon from like the 70s or the 80s, something that I used to watch when I was a kid. So, for example, George and Mildred is one of my favourite comedies, just because... I love it. It's not about it being hilariously funny, although it's really funny at parts. It's for me, it's the, it's like a comfort, you know? It's like putting on a, a, a comfortable jumper or whatever, big, for me, it'd have to be big uh, in order for me to be comfortable. I don't like constriction and I, I'm an extra large, even just with something that's quite tight. So I have to, a big, big jumper just to you know a bit like Andre he loves things that he's got one two different they're my jumpers my old jumpers and he loves them because they've got his smell on them they had my smell on them to start with so that's why he liked them and then they obviously got his smell as well and maybe he can still smell me on them as well I'm not sure but there's that comfort he just so that's so, <laughs> Georgia Mildred is very much like a ferret's blanket. 
that's kind of what I'm saying. But it's not just George and Mildred. I like Terry and June. And I used to watch Porridge when that was on in the afternoon. Rising Damp. Uh, but at the moment it's been Minder, so I've been watching that. I just like the light-hearted stuff that I used to watch, but it's that familiar, it just feels nice, it feels nice, that's all really. Hi Sebastian, uh, thank you for joining, um, I think we've spoken before. As soon as I said hello Sebastian, everyone left. Everyone left the room. <laughs> That's not nice. Uh, what else have I done today? I lent my friend a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> you know, when I say it out loud, it really does sound boring. It's amazing. I s no, I haven't really done anything. I had some tea cakes. So Fiona says, I know what you mean. When Ian was off work, um, we got in a routine of four in a bed. Yeah. It's, it's nice. It's having a routine. So when, before I moved here, because I live in my own flat now, but before I moved into this flat, I lived in a tiny little room, which was mouldy. The room, but not the whole room was my bit. It, it had mould, and but it was tiny. And but I lived in the centre of town. So part of my routine, and that was when I was just going through being ill, and uh, you know, so I, I was in a, yeah, I had not really didn't have any money. I was still waiting for the benefits to come through, so I didn't really. I had plenty of time, but not much, you know, money to do anything other than to eat. And it takes a lot to keep this belly going, you know. So I used to go into town, go into the evolution shop and see my friends. Because I used to work in the evolution shop. So I used to go and see them, say hi, uh, annoy them. And then I'd go into the park and I'd feed the squirrels. I'd go to the pet shop or to... Uh, no, where would I go? I went somewhere and I got like the seeds and the nuts so I could feed the pigeons and feed the squirrels. I used to get um, hazelnuts, I think it was. Yeah, from Sainsbury's. And they used to just climb all over me. And I used to love doing it. Um, but I live, well, I've got my own wildlife in my home and I now with Andre, but I don't have, yeah, I should do that, and then I'd come home and watch Terry and June on telly. That used to be my routine, my my day routine, so I probably wouldn't get out of bed till early afternoon, and then I would go out and do that, and then be back by 4.30 or whatever time the Terry and June was on. I love Terry and June. I love Terry's voice, Terry Scott. Um, for those watching this back who aren't watching at the moment, but anyone f in the future watching this, if you Google Terry Scott, he was a very famous actor, like com 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 comedic actor, that's the right word, and he had the best voice. He also used to, he was Penfold in Danger Mouse. He did the voice for Penfold. And he had this really kind of quite high-pitched, squeaky voice at times. And I just, just loved him. Absolutely loved that show. Um, I suppose it's quite weird because if you think about it, I'm 48 now. When I was watching the Carry On films, I'm thinking of uh, the Tarzan carry on up the jungle or whatever because uh, Terry, Terry Scott was like a Tarzan character in that and I used to watch the carry on films in the 80s but they were from the 60s so it was a nostalgic thing then 
So I'm nostalgic about something that isn't even something for me to be nostalgic about. The Carry On films are something for people that saw them the first time, really, in the 50s and 60s, to be nostalgic. But I love the Carry On films. I know that it's probably not a popular thing to say, but I do. I just think they were... It's the early ones were really funny, really clever, because, you know, they didn't... And also, they didn't have special effects. They couldn't rely on it. It was just the funny characters, and some of the one-liners were really funny. Some of them were cheesy and silly, but they're supposed to be. And I don't know why I'm... <laughs> Tell anyone this, but so I don't know who's who's that on there. That isn't. Oh, okay. So F Fiona, so you're on here. This is Dalton, not Dalton. Um, Sebastian. Is he come on here? Or did he get upset when I said that everyone left when I mentioned his name? I didn't mean it. I was only, I was only joking. I was only joking. So, I think he would have uh, messaged me by now. So I'm waiting to hear, what else did I do today? Did I do anything else? No. Um, still waiting to find out if I'm able to get back my podcast from, Spot, uh, from uh, SoundCloud. I'm trying to get it reinstated, but I'm waiting to hear from them to see if they're going to do it. They said they might be able to, but then I don't know if they can reinstate the channel, but whether they can reinstate all the sessions, the, you know, the audios, I don't know. If they can, and they've still got all the same links, then that would be good for my website because every single session on my website has got a SoundCloud player in it. And if I can't do that, I'm going to have to go through every you know, hundreds and hundreds of pages on my website and delete the, the code, which is a lot of work, a lot of work. But that's okay, it's just what it is. I've deleted stuff so many times over the years. Uh, I think if I hadn't, I think if I'd have just kept going, and being stable enough, maybe, to just keep trodding, trodding. Um, hi, Debbie, thank you for joining. And uh, Sebastian, say hi to everyone, Sebastian. You know you're kind of like my co-presenter co at times, aren't you? In fact, I might bring you on to say hi to everyone if you want. The... Um, I was saying something. What was I saying? Oh, the SoundCloud. Yeah, I think. Okay, here we go. Sebastian, I was thinking so. I could switch on my mic and, and cam. Well, maybe we'll do it in a little while. Don't do it just yet because I can't even bother talking to you. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'll just, just wait a little bit and then we can... You can come in on stream. If anyone else wants to come on and say hi on the mic or the camera, just to let you know, well, that's a whistling, this will be saved on Facebook so other people will be able to watch it. And it will also be, I will be posting it onto YouTube if I can find a way to download the thing, but I might have to wait till I get the laptop to do that. And it will also be available for people to download on my website. So nothing on here is private so it's i suppose it's obvious it's a live stream it's not private um but that's kind of the plan i'm not doing it for that i just i'm fed up with deleting my stuff and deleting the jason chats and maybe it's time i just started saving stuff sebastian says he will be on his best behavior Still don't doesn't fill me with confidence that that um, Sue Sue's here. Hi Sue, thank you for joining. Um, 
I think with with Facebook on on, on um oh, I got an itchy back. When I do the things on YouTube, if I did a, a live broadcast on YouTube, sometimes I do get I've had like a nice little audience taking a while and not but not a huge amount of people, maybe twelve, thirteen people. And then people watch it afterwards. But the thing is, whoever comes on knows my work because they're subscribers. That's how they've found me. So they're, they're subscribed to me. On Facebook, I've got lots and lots of friends that don't even know who I am or don't really know what I do because when I started the channel in 2004, or 2007, or yeah, about probably 2007, I just went through every single chronic pain, insomnia forum, and I just added thousands of people because I've hardly any friends on here, no family or friends really on my Facebook page. And over the years, people have added me, they've, you know, hundreds of people have come along, thousands maybe, I don't know have left me and other people have come on because of what I do and they like what I do and they follow me. So when I'm live now, people are coming across me by accident and then le leaving really quickly. So they're probably not sure what I'm doing. Some of them might be thinking, who is that bloke? I often think that. You like that silence, that calmness. By the way, I've been doing these uh, daily hypnosis sessions recently. I think I did number seven last night, and I'm quite pleased with how they're coming along. They're very different from the let me boy to sleep, very different, I think, from most of the other stuff that I've done. So it's very, I would say, quite uplifting, uh, supportive, you know, very sort of focusing on safety, you know, feeling safe, um, sort of getting in touch with what you like about yourself, you know, that kind of stuff. Sebastian says, that's a threat. Um, so I think his threat is that he'll be on his best behaviour. I don't even know how to bring people on here. I suppose I could bring you on for one minute. You want to come on here for one minute? And if anyone else wants to. Fiona, I'm currently working through your hypnotic buffet. Wow, yeah. I go on in them, don't I? I do. <laughs> you know, with the hypnotic buffet, I really don't know what I'm going to say before I start. And then I get really involved in what I am saying. Well, I do sometimes know kind of what I want to talk about. But I imagine it probably shows that I don't read off a script. I never have read off a script uh, apart from in training, you know. And I've done hypnosis training. I've read off scripts because everyone has to do that because it's part of the course. But I just flow. I just let it flow through me. And it seems to work out. The words seem to come. I never seem to be short of words. They never, I never seem to get stuck. It's funny, but it helps us sleep quickly. Well, the hypnotic buffet helps you sleep quicker. Wow. So maybe it's because they're shorter. I'm just being boring for less, but for less time. Maybe, I don't know. Um, I used to do a thing called, what did I do? Hypno chats, which was the precursor to the hypnotic buffet. And I did them back in about 2010 maybe 2011 time and I was making them while I was a counsellor and 
yeah, sometimes if I had, I'd make them in the actual counselling room, not while I was with someone, but so maybe if I had a, if there was a gap, I knew that no one was coming in, I'd, spend, I'd stay another hour and I'd sit there and it'd be a really bright room and I'd stick the iPhone because I had one, an older iPhone back then. It's not going to be a newer one, is it? And it was on there on the windowsill and it's quite bright. And I just start talking, and the whole idea in my mind was I just start talking, just like a Jason chat, just say what's going on. And then I would, something would hit my, pique my interest, you know, like then I'd start moving into that and moving into some kind of a hypnosis y stuff. Um, all right, so Fiona says it's just my voice now, so I could just, I, I could just read anything. Then I suppose just talk about, talk about pottery or something really interesting. Diane, hi Diane. Nice to see you. Um, so Sebastian wants to come on and say hi. I can see he's excited. I, I just I get a sense, but I don't know how to add him. How do I add add these uh, people? How do I how do I add him? Read any? You know I've got, I used to do some reading. You know, um, I used to do like an ASMR whisper reading or something like that where I would just read I think it was out of a, a book on cognitive behaviour or something and I would just read it and people liked it but then because it's copyright because really you can only really read something and publish it or put it onto YouTube if it's either your own work or it's something that's out of date so it's out of pop copyright so I don't want to get in trouble by reading stuff like that, but it would be quite good. You know New Land? Hey, okay, here we go. Um, Sebastian says, I can invite people to watch. Uh, you know, some people like to watch. <sighs> don't think you can have people. So, yeah, it doesn't look like... Let me just have a look. I'm going to play around. Uh, your viewers, guest views. Can't add you, Sebastian. You're off. Yours isn't, yours isn't even on there. I could, I could add Diane or Fiona, but I can't add Sebastian. Yours, there's no block, there's no ad thing next to yours. You're not still blocked by um, Facebook, are you? That's weird. So yeah, I could add, so I can't add Sebastian. We have before, haven't we? I think it was on Facebook, we did it. So yeah, I could add someone, but you'd be on, a, you'd be on the screen so other people could see you. But uh, you'd need to check your, your private, <laughs> how come whatever you write just sounds wrong? Sebastian says, nah, it must be my private parts setting. Yes, it's to do with your private parts. Okay, no, I won't add. No, even if I did add you, like if I press add, you can deny, it. you know what I mean? I, you don't, I wouldn't do it without asking. I did it once to someone by accident. Because this was the first time I ever did a live stream, and I came up and I added someone, and um, I, f I, f I don't know if she was in the bath or something, but it was very. And I, I guess she didn't know how it worked either, so she must have said yes without realising what I'd done. And suddenly I've got it was only her face, but she really didn't look too pleased with me. And but I didn't mean to do it. It's you know it's. Uh, <laughs> it was kind of funny at the time, but maybe not for her. But you know, I, I ended it very quick. But didn't mean, you know, I, I, 
I didn't know what I was doing. Didn't know what I was doing. That's all I can say. I know it wouldn't hold up in court, but D is joined. Hi, D. Thank you for coming. Um, so I don't know what Sebastian's doing. I think he might be probably shaking his laptop. Like, how can I, you know, if the thing he wants to do most of all now is get on here, I bet you. Oh, he's watching again. Let me see if he's changed his thing. No, he hasn't. Still not available. Stop the swearing, Sebastian. This is a family show. Applies only for mobile users. Yeah. Oh. Ian says, <laughs> yeah. Operation, you, oh, don't, don't get him started. Don't go all. Um, shaking his, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, I've, <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with all the messages now. <laughs> right, okay, don't argue amongst yourselves. So that's a shame, Sebastian. I, well, you've been on here before, so you must have maybe. I'm sure we did it when I was on the phone. I don't think I've ever done a broadcast on Facebook when I haven't done it on the phone. I don't think so, anyway. Sebastian, you need to. Uh... Right, you've just seen what I've done to that. So that's, that one's gone. Andre, come here, mate. Come here. What's this? What's this? I'm trying to get him over to me, but I can't, because he's... Disc... Right. Uh, Sebastian, stop that now. Stop it. Behave yourself. Andre, come here. I want to get my Andre. Hold this a sec. Oh. I have to bring him. There you go, look. There he is. Hey. Say hello. Hello. There we go. So, here we go. Say hello to everyone. Say hi, Andre. Well, thanks, Sebastian. You probably lost me another viewer there. Cheers, mate. Diane's gone now. Uh, so, Andre's here. Look at him. Oh, you're still here, right? Okay. Isn't he cute? I know he's not really close to the camera. There you go. Do you want to say hello to everyone? Hello. 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 Oh, that's a good picture. Look at that. That's a great picture. Has he got his tongue out as well, hasn't he? <laughs> he is gorgeous, isn't he? So Sebastian says, anyone will be driven off on my lid? Nah, I think it's, uh, some people would. But we're going to keep it family entertainment. Thank you. If anyone's going to say rude things, it's going to be Andre, isn't it? Only Andre says rude things. I know. Oh, well, he talks. Do you know that? Yes, I know. My name's Andre. What do you mean, Andre? Do you mean Andre? Why are you calling yourself Andre for when it's Andre? Say 
way you call yourself Newland instead of Newland. That's very rude. It's very rude of you. See, so um, Diane says that you're gorgeous. Mm. Mm. Yes. Says that you're gorgeous. You are gorgeous, aren't you? He's a beautiful little boy. He's the most beautiful boy in the world. Hello. 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 <laughs> so Diane says... My husband had 17 ferrets at once. 17 ferrets, 17. Wow. Now one is enough. One is a handful on its own. You imagine 17 of these running around, fighting with each other and playing, because they're not all gonna get on, I don't imagine. Sometimes they'll fight, they'll play and they'll they're quite aggressive when they fight as well. Sebastian, and one day, Andre walks in on you with a lawyer and demands his royalties. You know, I think some people possibly do watch my videos because of him. I don't blame him. He's beautiful, isn't he? So I, can't, I can't get enough of him and I have to clean his poo up. And I still can't get enough of him. And he bites me and he's naughty. Earlier on, I went into the kitchen and the freezer door was wide open. And the bread was melting. So I think this little thing here opened the freezer, opened it. The same way he's opened the kitchen door, one of the uh, cupboards. And I've closed that, I've co covered that or sealed it with sellotape, trying to stop him from, you know, getting in there, but he's naughty. I just can't believe, sometimes I look at him and I can't believe how big he is compared to what he used to look like. He was so tiny, you know, it's just, it's amazing how big he is now. I know that technically he's not big, you know, he's not, a monster, he's not huge, not a giant, is he? But he's so big compared to what he was. He's, if you look at his arm, his whole body, including the tail, was the length of his arm when I first got him. You know, and that's with the tail. And he had a little head, it was probably the size of, yeah, his face, like his nose and that, it's probably the, the size of his head. Tiny little thing. Andre, um, Sebastian, remember that? He was as big as a walnut. He was, he was tiny, wasn't he? I could put my fingers around his neck and have to squeeze the fingers together more and more in order to actually find his neck because he was so little and I had to hold him to stop him from biting me. And uh, I think one person watching thought I was hurting him or you know, like strangling him, which I wasn't. Yeah, he could move his, well, an alarm's just gone off. He could move his head around, but I had to stop him from biting me. Um, I can't, can't get over how he's big and you hissed out how he bit you, yeah. I wish I still had those videos of him biting me, just for fun, just to see his li just how little he is, was. And I deleted them all. I didn't delete, yeah, I did, I deleted them all. I think what it is, is with the YouTube channel, I try and stick to making more kind of therapeutic 
videos uh, in a sense of, you know, hypnotic -y stuff with the occasional vlog, uh, the occasional Jason chats. But sometimes I get a bit carried away and I make lots of Jason chats and, you know, it looks like that's all that the channel is, just uh, one big vlog. And it isn't. It's, it's not what it's about. But the same process, I've made hundreds of the videos and I've deleted most of them. Oh, what are you doing? So I wonder if John Kelly's coming. Is Soren coming? Is who else? Uh, Amy, Amy used to come, didn't she? And watch these videos when I used to do the live ones last year or whenever. Perhaps I should send invites out because I haven't. I just I put a notice on here saying that I was going to be on here between eight and ten tonight, and that's it. Look, it's weird. It's, so Diane says. I first came across you on YouTube years ago, the sleep hypnosis videos. Hi Diane, yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, it's, I've been around a long, long time. Not just in years, you know, being alive, but I've just been online since doing these hypnosis stuff since 2006. I started out actually on MySpace. Did my first video on MySpace. And I think that was before YouTube. YouTube even existed at that point. And I remember the very first video, it was I think it was even, I think it was a relaxation video. And I had no confidence at all in what I was doing and really because I'd made I'd made MP3s but it's a bit different between uh, talking but and then being filmed. So being filmed was a, a bit of a, uh, a, new, a new thing. So in the end, I, I did it and I had lots of really good responses and I ended up getting about 10,000 views of that first video within quite a short time. So Fiona says, oh, I've just missed, I missed a few out. So Diane says, I like the 20 minute challenge. Yeah, uh, thank you. That's the most um, popular video that I've ever done, that one. It's hard to see, you know, if you look at the, the, the video on my current YouTube chat channel, it's got maybe just over a thousand views. But at one point, I think I had about 70, maybe 100,000 views on that one on previous channels. So that, that's probably had a good 150, maybe 200,000 views over the years on the different channels that I've had. Um, so I had a, a period when I, the, some of the videos I was doing were going, not viral, not, not in a proper sense of the word, but viral to me because suddenly I was getting thousands of views overnight. I didn't even understand why. Look, he's so happy. Look at him. I'm just massaging his belly a bit. And he's just so calm and relaxed. Uh, Fiona says, I'm in Spain in November for, for four and a half weeks. So if you're live and I'm not on, that's why. Thanks, Fiona. Um, I'm just trying to think how I should do this. Like Sebastian, I'm coming to you. So I, I was in the middle of talking, so that's why I didn't add you. But I'm going to add you in a second so you can come on here and talk. Um, you sent a request. Okay, I'm going to do it. Give me a couple of seconds. I'm just going to respond to Fiona. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, wait a second. Oh, blimey. Approve. Okay, I've approved. Sebastian's coming on, but I'm going to still continue to talk to Fiona. I'm not sure how, um, when to do these. He wants to get off. I have to let him get off because he might need to do a wee. <laughs>
God, look at that face. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Am oh. I am I am I a good audible? Yes. Can oh, you hear I me? can't hear you. Oh, I have you to can't. put my headphone in. Sorry, mate. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I can now, hear you now. Can you hear my beautiful voice now? I can. I'm I'll, gonna I'll take my headphone out now. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I just I thought I I went to bed and uh, make a broadcast from my bedroom to give this all a little bit more <laughs> spice. Oh. Okay. <laughs> You on? You know you're on a warning. You're on a warning. I will you, not remove the. You, I will not you, remove the blanket. You okay? <laughs> you will be deleted in a second. The minute you start misbehaving. <laughs> the minute. And, the minute my camera uh, slides <laughs> off my hands and goes into other regions. Yeah. It's not supposed to. And, yes. Yes. And those that are watching, maybe think I'm being harsh with you. They they don't know. <laughs> yeah, they have no idea. They have no idea. Yeah. So let's all keep this nice. I want to finish what I was saying to Fiona. Yes, go on. Go what, on. What, well, basically, what I'm saying is, and this is something that you've been saying to me, Sebastian, is yeah. to have more routine, to be more, um, what's the right word? You know, when you do something, like, yeah. Uh, Discipline. Uh, yeah, Chairman, rely discipline. reliable, discipline. Re be a reliable young boy. I tell you something. Oh. The thing, if you want to achieve things you love, right? If you cannot achieve the things you do not like, then you cannot go on and, and, and get uh, fulfillment with the things you love to do. If they I've... are a bit, yes, organized. That's the Yeah, word. I think Diane's got it organized. But also, um, there's another word I'm thinking. It's basically telling people I'm going to be habitual. Yeah, that's another one. I'm quite habitual. In... There's a word they used to do, you say, in sales. When I used to always be, I was quite good at sales. And I'd always, the word that say you need to have, it's quite weird because I'm, I usually, the words normally come to me when I'm talking. Yeah. But because I'm when interacting... I'm interacting, so it's not, my brain's not working the way it would normally work. Um, I'm better when I'm just talking at you <laughs> than when you, when you, you know, when this person's talking back. It's like, oh, and even though I'm reading as well, so it's, um, but it's, yeah, I think it's all those words: reliable, habitual, organized. Uh, I tell to, you, you got to start. You got to start with the stuff you really don't like to get the, those as a routine. And then you have the means to control the things you love very much better. I've got the so, things I don't like. I wipe my bum. I don't like doing that, but I do that. That's a regular well, thing that I do. Sometimes thank you even for after being I was just saying that we, we all do things we don't like. I, that's one of the things I don't like. For me, that's <sighs> on par with cooking. Cooking food. That's I think I think wiping your butt is uh, it it I, I don't know. If it, it's like breathing, <laughs> it's, like, yeah. it's like breathing. It's like uh, cuffing. It's like something you 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 get imprinted on at early age. Like this is what humans do. It's something that comes to you naturally. You want to wipe your butt. This is didn't come naturally. No oh, natural God. thing for me was just just pull your trousers up and carry on with the day. Yeah, <laughs> it's a natural thing. So, so, so you would, so you would go nonchalantly go to the supermarket and at the cashier, then you'll be like, "What's that smell? Oh, I can't, I can't explain it." How have we gone so quickly? How have you managed to? This time was it you? You were. Was you it started me? With, this time you started with wiping your. You know, I talk parts. about. You know, I do like because um, yeah. I do hypnosis, and I'm very impressionable as a person I'm yeah. quite not so much easily led but very easy to hypnotize very easy to um, I'm very suggestible I'm quite a suggestible person even though I'm aware of what is being suggested I still so I think um, you're misleading me 
So, um, so basically, it so was basically me. Ten years, <laughs> t- basically, 10 years from now, when you're really elderly, yes, uh, uh, everybody who wants to do the, the, can grand, we, can we the, stop? Grand, the grandchildren trick can, can, can trick you into, yes? Can I, I, do easily a, be, can I do a little survey here, Diane and yeah. uh, Fiona? <laughs> Sebastian keeps calling me elderly. Yeah, an elderly man. Just like I said, when you're really elderly in 10 years time. Yeah, look at him, look. Does anyone think that I'm elderly? Seriously, is 48 elderly? And uh, to be fair, I don't, I don't I think- just, I just abuse the word intentionally. I know now elderly is an euphemism, a nice word for someone who's really old, like 80, he's fragile and, and is, is, is needing nursing and that, you know, but yeah, in, but my, the first time I called you elderly, it was like, um, I thought you are my elder. Thank yes. You. you are older. You are older than I am. Right. So yeah, I thought I'm older, but I'm not old. I'm not. But I thought it is, it is, uh, to be my senior, to be older as a it's form like, of respect, that's, that, that's when you call people elderly. I did yeah, not but know you the You might exact be taller thing. than me. You might be a bit taller than me. That means you're a giant. You're a giant because <laughs> no, you're an inch um, taller. You, know, it's... you don't get it. I, 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 I did not really know the, the meaning in English that it means how long old. ago? How long ago did you not know that? Because you've been oh. saying it for the last 10 years to me. <laughs> no, not 10 years. You've been saying it for quite one, a while. That one is now like six months. And the first time was six unintentional. And now it's just me abusing the word. Intentional okay. abuse of the word. <laughs> I'm right. fully aware. For, I'm fully aware. Yeah, I you're figured you elder. were. So Diane says, I'm older than you. And Fiona says, you're not elderly. So right. We're, I'm not elderly. So you're outvoted. There's only three of us watching. Or four, including me. <laughs> so you're outvoted, mate. I'm you not elderly. No, I, you are not aware of my other personas, you know. They are also here in my... <laughs> you're They're not Diane. Watching. You're not Diane and Fiona as well, eh? You've got like... Th- you're, you're sitting in front of three three different um, phones. Yes, middle-aged. Diane. Yes. Yeah, it's I'm not, middle-aged. Yeah. That's, middle-aged. That's what he, he, he keeps keeps re- responding that he's a middle-aged man. And, and that is when he, I turn the word around against him and say, yes, you're a man from the Middle Ages, something like that. <laughs> yeah, by that time, I'll probably stop reading your messages. As soon as you say the word middle-aged or uh, elderly. I'm not. Yeah. When, I, when I'm 70, 70 plus. Even yes, that then is you're elderly. An, uh but there's, there's a degree of respect with the word, with the word elderly, like uh, yes, an elder. I mean. you, if you think about the, an elder in a tribe or an elder in a society, yeah. that's someone of, uh, of respect. But we don't use that here in that way. Elderly just means old. An elderly <laughs> See, person. That, that, but that's not- what I meant. I meant it respectfully as in you're elder, you're wiser, you're something to, you to be. You never, ever said anything to me or use any word where the meaning behind it was that I was <laughs> wise and respectful. Old, yeah, old bastard, Diane said. Yeah, that's it, Diana. <laughs> Diane says, Diana, Diane says, I'm old compared to what I used to be, but we all are, aren't we? We're all, you Actually, know? I, I need to confess, actually, I need to confess. You know, I'm at the point in life where I, for the first time can look back at my own life. Really, like looking back and it was like 20 years ago, 20 years when I am like, uh, had my first job and, and, and it, it scares me. I don't want to get old. And, and, and everybody says, oh, you're just only barely in your mid thirties. No, 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 no. That's, that's <laughs> old. That's old. I still want to be 20 and, 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 yeah, fuck. Uh, oops. So that, I think um, Fiona, uh, Andrew, just, just, Andrew, to, just to let you know, Fiona, you thought I was boring. <laughs> See, he can make better videos than me. Carry on what? talking about your life. 
<laughs> no, I just wanted to say, telling you, um, I wanted to tell you that me being abusing the world elderly is just my own coping with my own age progression. But you're not, what are you, 30, 36 or something now, aren't you? Yeah, um, thanks for making me even older. I'm how turning old, how old 35. You? 35. I'm now 34. 34. 34. And I will, will, I'll be turning 35. Well, 34 is not young, is it? You know, you're not a teenager anymore. Yeah. It's not old, shit. but you're not young. It's 35 yeah. is kind of heading towards... 40. Um, so Diane so says, uh, don't regret getting older. It's a privilege denied to some, a privilege to like, de denied to many. Many, many people would love to be older. Well, uh, I don't you know, want to be older. It's all about I don't want to be, if you're well, isn't it? I don't want to be somber, but I, I, I've, I've told you about the, that cancer guy on YouTube who has made quite a following. He died three weeks ago, and he was three years younger than I am. He, he, yeah. his, life, his, his life was ruined at, 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 at age 30, and he never got to get any older now. You know, so yes, uh, living up to age fifty is more than the actual life expectancy was five hundred years ago, where everybody died at maximum age forty, and that was old back then. So yeah, it's, it's all paranoid. It's, it's yeah, I mean you're right. It's it's the average age in England for a man. Statistically, the average age for a man is something like 68, and the average age for a woman is about 73. Yeah, but, so here, the way, it's, it's just it, Esther, if it doesn't mean that's it, has turned a bit sad. Should we look, talk about something a bit nicer? Yeah, oh. shall we? It's well, just a bit sorry, Fiona. It's it's no, it's just, Sebastian it, I it doesn't matter. I could be doing the magic tricks and they start talking about you know, something, you know, <laughs> terrorism or something. Like, Come on, I'm doing a magic trick. Pick a card, pick a card. Yeah, but no, ISIS, I, uh... ISIS, no, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, are, are you grumpy now, Jason? I'm not, I just wanted to make a point. That it wasn't I, me, aware... the only said it's turned a bit sad. Yeah, so I'm listening, it. I'm listening to the people that are watching and I'm grateful that, that that we just can get that old by now. I'm I'm right? just happy that you've got a beard. I just I just think there's there's not enough silly beards in the world. There should need to be more. <laughs> yeah. I know there's a lot more than there used to be, but yeah. it's it's good. I'm gonna let my beard grow so big and disgusting. You think <laughs> I'm seriously gonna let it grow? It already is getting a little bit out of hand, but I'm gonna let it grow so big. I'm lit I'm gonna look like a microphone. You know, there's like my like, fuzzy microphone um covers. That's what and my hair is also it's starting to, my hair naturally is starting to move in different directions. So my hair is gonna farting. be sticking up. It's brilliant. You're, you you will be the farting Gandalf of Colchester. I already am. I already am. So what is so Diane says like Captain Bird's eye, yeah. Although my hair will be messier, Captain Bird's eye is quite tidy. I think probably more like our Uncle Albert. You know, our Uncle Albert from... Um, do you know our she Uncle? Just, huh? She's just written that, do Uncle you, Albert. Oh, have you? Oh, okay, sorry. I said it just, must have just you saying. Do, do you know who Uncle Albert is, Sebastian? You know the word uncle holds a big do you, Yeah, forgetting that. Do you, okay, I'll get... If you Google this, this, um, if you Google this term, okay, um, during the war, just Google that during the war, during the war, Google it, and then you'll find out who Uncle Albert is. Yeah, let me tell you, are you aware of my hair, of my actual hair when I had hair, when I let it grow? You know, I have an incredibly afro style of curly hair which is nowhere to be found with my parents and i wonder i wonder why did i get such extreme curly hair when nobody had it do you think maybe that your um that your 
your mum cheated and I, I'm, I'm, I, I, it would, it would, it would just, add, it would just Stop add it. up to her wonderful personal personality. Do you think it might be? But yeah, you, you might be a bastard. Is it possible? There was, there was, there was, be, there was a time in my life where I cared <laughs> nothing about personal hygiene, and I did not really care for my hair. In a year, you want to know how that looked in the end. Some some bastards called me. You look like how can I put this in English? Like an exploded toilet brush. <laughs> and, exploded uh, toilet brush. <laughs> because it was like two piles of curly hair going this and that way. And a, a much better comparison is 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 what's the what's the. Uh, that, that one character from The Simpsons who looks like that. With two... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Tingle? Is it the clown you're talking about? No, no, not Krusty, but he, he, Bob something. We have a German name for him. Sideshow Bob, exactly. My, I did oh. look like oh, a I very, a very... Did you shit yourself? No, oi, the language. This is a family show. Did Side you defecate? Bob. Did you defecate yourself, sir? It's still the same content, isn't it? It's still this. <laughs> don't use those words. But well, yeah, I, I, I did. I just nearly stuck his bum in my. I didn't mean to do that. I was going. Like, I went to kiss him. I, I, Hello. Daddy kisses. Kissy, daddy. Daddy kisses. Daddy kisses. No, no, really. I looked like sideshow Bob, and 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 that was a that was a lesson to me because I was so looking ridiculous and nobody respected me, especially. Do you know what I like to do? You know, obviously I'm not bald, am I? But I, I'm receding a little bit. What I like Balding. to do, you know, I like to shave my head. Every yeah. now and then I shave my head completely gone, completely, you know, bald. Like, are you yeah. bald, aren't you, at the moment? <laughs> yeah, you... unke unkempt yeah. bald, it, it grows back. Well, but... you, you know what I like to do, though? I like to shave around, so get rid of all the hair from there, all around there, so it looks like, a, and then do it so there's a comb over. So I, I make my own, to so shave underneath with the razor, and then put a comb over. And I did this, and, my, and I, I was going to go out, and my friend refused to leave the house with me. He refused yeah. to go in public with me. And to be quite honestly, you know what kind of, group of people have come over us people elderly men their hair. people that lose That's... elderly men yeah no not <laughs> no. always there's plenty of people that are young that lose their hair i Loads say if you are if you are losing hair and it's not looking flattering anymore because i mean your hair growth you don't have a brooding masculine uh... D Diane's, i think Diane's saying that you need to take your meds your your meds i'm not no, sure I, <laughs> I was, I was, I was gonna say, look, we we make her take medicine so she can endure it. <laughs> no, I, I'm saying your your time of being a, a brooding night with brooding long hair that that's over, yeah. But you're not looking pathetic. It's 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 um, <laughs> it's a hair. Oh, you're it's saying a haircut. you're okay, sorry, Dan. It's a haircut. It's a haircut that fits a man of your age. So, Sebastian, your way of telling me that I look okay is saying that I'm not looking pathetic. I mean, no. You have I, a way I mean, with words. You really have a way with words. If you I not. mean, I mean, it, it, it does not look embarrassing yet. So that that's I would no go... Worse. That, that, that's no uh, that's that, like, I'm going to correct that. It's, uh, you're not looking pathetic. I'll correct it. No, sorry about that. What I mean is you're not looking embarrassing yet. Did I tell you what I what I said in hospital to the surgeon who saved my life last year, who literally performed an exhausting surgery on me and yeah. saved my literal life? Well, I, I met her this year, and my this time surgeon said, did she do a great job? And do you know what I replied? Talk about gratefulness. I said, well, I didn't die. Well, I didn't die. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. 
I lost, I lost an arm. I lost my leg. But but I made it here. I, 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 ten minutes later, I was so ashamed because I thought that how diminishing that was. Like like yeah, the bitch did a good yeah, bitch the the, the bitch did their work. You cannot you cannot say that to people. You cannot tell well, a surgeon not... who worked six hours on you. Oh yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah I survived. Diane just said that she's just you've you've reminded me, or maybe I've reminded her why she needs to take her medication. I Thank you, sure Fiona. This, I Thank know, you, Fiona. It might be it might be me or the both of us. I'm not sure. Thank you, Fiona. Can you imagine? I had a I had a Facebook site installed for both of us, where I planned a friendly podcast, a friendly podcast between me and him, where we just talk about what comes to our mind, especially about the bipolar. We were so, this is basically what we were planning to do, isn't it? This. Yeah, yeah. And we're and doing it, people, but right? it's, it's been years kind of... coming. This has been ages we've been talking about. We have done this before. It's not the first yeah. time we have done it. And um, that's usually when um, we don't talk for a while. And a, a little small minority of the viewers find it even hilarious, it seems. Find it. Sophia, uh, what funny. must. I'm trying to read. This screen I've got is so small that neither my reading glasses nor my, nor my distance glasses actually work. It's so small, the, the screen is so weird that my normal eyesight is really perfect with it. <laughs> and uh, you know what I mean? It's like. I can actually see it perfectly just with my eyes. So Ian's and I listen to you two better than some TV shows. Thank you. Hello, Jason, mate. Hi, John. John's here. Um, Diane says I'm bipolar. Hi, hi. I was going to say hi, bipolar. Hi. Um, <laughs> thank you, Diane. I'm trying to, I'm not used to trying to read and talk at the same time. Oh. That's why you should do it more often. Then you would get proficient at it. You have no idea how, when I was in, at, at the radio station and I had When you was at the radio station, okay. When you say that, it sounds like you was a, a radio host or something, but were you a cleaner? Yes, I was. Were you the janitor? You kn- <laughs> uh, when I was, uh, when I I was, was cleaning I was, toilets no, at the radio station... I was a voluntary... Of- I was a voluntary... Uh, what's the word? When you do work for free for a good cause. Yeah, community service, we call it over here. Uh, uh, not, yeah, the, but not the, appointed the judge by makes ju- you do it instead of going <laughs> to prison. No, it was a hospital <laughs> radio. So okay. The biggest one here uh, in our biggest clinic. And uh, I, I, you were around then, you should have known. I was... I don't uh, listen to... I don't... Do you read this? Do you read this? See, I am bringing you the hearts. Jason, I am bringing you the fans. Is that you that really? uh, Fiona says, yes, you should do a podcast or more of these together. We find you both. Thank you. Thank you. That's very kind you of see, you. That's, my, that's the magic. It, it's working. <laughs> you, you got Sebastian all excited now. He's been wanting to do this for absolutely ages. He, yeah. he's, he's happy. He's, a, he's happy. And, uh, because I, I, I know <laughs> that... I said it to you. What? When did I say it to you? A couple of days ago. Like that. We are very mismatched, weird, flawed friends, mm. and I think that's why it would work out that we do a, a regular show where we talk, and and even if it doesn't go anywhere, people will be just entertained by our by you succumbing to me. <laughs> by me? What succumbing to you? Yes. I'm not sure if that's I, uh, that sh- that fits in a sentence properly. There, is that? Does anyone? <laughs> is that correct? Am I succumbing to him? <laughs> I doesn't. That doesn't, doesn't say, fit right. I did not say you are coming to no, me. No, <laughs> succumb, succumbing. Just that. That sounds. Uh, it's like I've just given <laughs> given myself to you. Like just, I'm succumbing. Well, I, you know, your charms have overwhon my initial <laughs> disgust. <laughs> At you. <laughs> no, I, I rather thought I rather thought you you uh, succumbing in an illness way, as in like you're you're like you're dying from the bubonic plague. <laughs> All right, so I don't look terrible yet, um, but I, I look like I'm. Oh, thanks. Um, ha, uh, well, have a look. He's seducing you. He's seducing me, Diane. Thanks. I, I'm I'm worried. I'm a bit worried. Um, I mean, we could. If you wanted to, 
Yeah. Did you want to do this every Friday between 8 and 10? Noland, I told you I will, but you <laughs> must do it. Excuse you me, excuse me, excuse me. Can it. It, I just point out something? Neither <laughs> what, am what? I at military school or in the army. Do not call me Newland. <laughs> But why? Maybe this is it like does, It doesn't even call me Nuna, he called me Nulant. Nulant. <laughs> he spells it N O O L or N O O O L A N T. Nulant. 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 <laughs> maybe, maybe we are like Penn and Teller. I'm Penn and you're just Teller. Did you hear the man has even changed his legal name completely to only Teller? Maybe you should do only Nulant. <laughs> So, you're comparing me to a magician I can't do ma that doesn't talk. Yeah, all I do is and talk. And also, also, I, I'm taking, I'm taking it here because uh, Pen Gillette is a total, total. Uh, uh, um, I must not say the word, but he is a total, you know, uh, an, an utter, 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 utter arrogant. He is. He's not a nice man. He's not a totally not a nice man. Which he's one? misogynistic. Well, the big Pen the... Gillette. No, he's not fat anymore. He has lost the. Uh, no, but he was the bigger one of the two. Yeah. And, and, and Teller's and short, very, very short, isn't he? Teller, very... Teller is, is the small and elder, uh, older one. Okay. And he has changed his legal name, literally. He threw everything overboard. It's just Teller now. So Hi, John. Could, you could do, you could do Newland. Say hello to the people that are coming online then, Sebastian. Oh, yeah. This. Hello, John. Sorry, I'm. Uh, Sorry, I'm antisocial. I, I, yes, hello, hello, John. Who, who, who do we have here? Is there a list of people? Yeah, it's it's hard to know. It looks like there's only three people watching, including you, actually watching. But there's Fiona, there's Diane, there's John, where's, there's where's me. Andy? I'm watching it on Facebook, so actually on my thing. So there's more than than that. It doesn't say the right amount of people. Yeah. Are you aware of my... Of, of, did I tell you about the job offer I got? Oh, the recording studio. Um, yeah, thingy. yeah. That, that will get Engineer. me even more happier. I hope. I hope it will. But, but I, I'm a dumb... Uh, the next word I must not say. But, you know, I'm a dumb prick. Because last night I, 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 I stayed up. I stayed up late. But I applied to the institute where I get the course and and today i woke up at an well, what's, hour what, sorry can i start you? what's a course well, what's what, a course uh, i don't know uh, what that is a training course a training course what's a training course <laughs> you might do you want me to go into my into my into my british voice do you want me to go into my proper british voice <laughs> yeah go on. hello counselor it's me again wendy <laughs> from Broadmoor. <laughs> I have been having these fantasies and delusions again. Okay. Counselor, can... I'll, I'll visit you at your, at your home. Oh, no, no. Today, the voice is not good. Well, I... Beer I, court, I slept... yeah. It's, it's called a beer, yeah. Diane says, yeah, cause is a beer, isn't it? <laughs> it's a beer. It's always advertised. I've never, I don't really drink beer, but... It's, it's cause. Isn't that the one where they keep going saying dilly dilly? Well, you cause know. Cause light. Dilly dilly. You know what I said. The, yeah. the, the, the training where I have to go, if that gets to become a reality for me. And they called me because I applied to them yesterday and they called me today for making an appointment. What did I do? I was fast asleep. I did not pick up the. I did not realize they were calling me. Well, bloody, bloody Nora. I need to do that to, on Monday, first thing. Oh, is that Bud Light, Dilly Dilly? Hi, John. Welcome. Oh, hi, I hope dilly you're okay. Dilly. That's another uh, eight English senior number. story. So, yeah. Debbie Alchet, Fiona McLean, and eight other senior stories so far. So, I think some people, um, other people will watch this afterwards. When I did the, you know, the last one we did on Tuesday, I think it was. And it was, it was supposed to, it was a let me bore you to sleep, but it didn't end up being that at all. Yeah. And it ended in, ended in uh, me derailing you by leaking your 
a certain number code. Yeah, post and post my telephone number on, on the thing. Yeah, that, that was that was really, really, really bright of you. Um, well, you so could, you could you did delete the message. Said no harm done. And I've not. I've you do. Not you do realize. You do realize. Saying those words, that sentence, no harm done, doesn't mean that no harm is being done. So doing something and then at the end of it saying, no harm done, doesn't take away from what's being done. You do, I just want to... I, w I wonder what I, I wonder I wonder what a judge in court would t t tell to me because I have this, this attitude that I go... Um, Steal something? Not, not, not literally. I've not <laughs> stolen anything. I've, I'm, I have an absolute. I have, have my my crime records is absolute clean. It's just a green piece of paper with nothing in it but my name. I swear, swear down, swear down. But, but you know, um, I'm I'm the kind of guy who goes into a, a store and and steals something, takes it away, and brings it back when he, when I've used it. And say, no, I'm done. You, here you have it back. I, I didn't steal it because I didn't keep it. I just look, and it's still not right. It's still not. It's still illegal what I did, but it doesn't occur to me. I just took it and and, and I gave it back. No harm done. Basically, that. what you're saying is you don't have a criminal record because you've not been caught. I, no, I'm not doing any crime in real life. Well, you are, if you're but, taking something out of a shop, using it. So if you're taking something home with you, using that it, was a hypothetic, and then take oh okay, an example. That's how I act. Like I, I, I put your phone number out, and I know there's nobody on who will see it and who will harm you. And so it's not no harm done to me. Yeah, but you, but we, we did the recording, we did the video. Yeah, and. <laughs> John what? says he is interested in who you are. What? John, John, John's interested in who you are. Do you want to introduce yourself? Well, hasn't he been around at the last? Uh, uh, I don't the know. Last... Well, I'm. I'm. If you are aware of my YouTube participation from last time, John, I, I remember we were discussing your Irish heritage. I am Uncle Hubert. Now you can get to know my face and my voice. I am Mr. Hubert S. from YouTube. Jason's best fiend. Jason's best... Uh, no, 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 not, not enemy, but... <laughs> best enemy? Yeah, face. No, no, we're not. No, no, no. But yeah, best. I'm your best burden. Best burden. Is that could there ever be such a thing as a best well, burden? Well, it's it's something that 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 that's not fun to you, and that you have to that you suffer. But you can't you can't. At the same time, you 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 like it, you know. It's like it's well, like athlete's food. I'm I'm your athlete's food. It's 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 a nasty itch, but at the same time, it's you're my athlete's foot. <laughs> you know, I can honestly say no one's ever said that to me, ever in my life. I am your yeah. athlete's foot. <laughs> I've never had yeah. athlete's foot. That might be lack of exercise, possibly. Oh, you're missing out. You're missing out. It's great. It's great. It's 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 nasty. It's burning, but it's it's so re it's so um, satisfying when you scratch it. <laughs> so I'm just thinking. <laughs> yes, John. What? I'm a German. I'm I I'm. Uh, oh, can I only have one person on at a time? Oh, I was hoping we could like get more than one person on so you could talk to each other. No, that's why I say Discord. And I, I tell you, I'll tell you, you will download it tonight and we'll get it. Can you you use will it try it out. <laughs> fungus infection. Oh, no, it's, it's, yeah. I'm Have his fungus infection. Well, he's no, we never infection. met. 
we, we never met in person. Uh, I was in a financial position to travel a lot over the last years, but I rather squandered it on a, a, a stupid school degree. And I've, I've, I've always made the promise to JJ, one day he will open the door and there will be a man with a white wig and a golden tracksuit, a big cigar and pink glasses. <laughs> and I will be uh, like, hello, now then, now then, now then. So... I will be dressed up as Uncle Jimmy Savile <laughs> and then Jason will call the cops. I'll tell you something. If you got out of a car... You wouldn't even make it to my home without <laughs> safely dressed like that. So, and you wonder why I don't leave my home. You wonder why I'm housebound. I'm scared to open my door in case he's there. Even, even if I would come in my normal, very modest clothes. I, I guess, no, no shit, Sherlock. If I would come to your home and ring at your doorbell, and I don't know how you live. Can you look who's at the door with, uh, with the window? Or do you have a, an intercom? You would see me from inside your flat and you would pretend you're not at home. I know you would do that. You would totally try to not engage. I don't answer the door if I don't know who's there. <laughs> yeah. Generally. And, uh, it depends. So... It, depends on, it depends. I'll be honest. It depends on how I'm feeling. Oh, my laptop's just broke. Just closed down. Oh. No, he was still. No, my, 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 um, ah, never mind. I don't know what time it is now. Yeah. I was I, using I thought, that to I keep track you, of the time. I thought you had broken it. It's just stopped working. It's just closed down. It must have a... Probably had some kind of timer on it or something. The Chromebook. There's still power on it, so there's no reason for it to we have down. We have, in your time, in your time, which is one hour, it's 9.34 in your time, p.m., 9.34. 9.34, okay. Well, yes. I'm, I was, my plan is to finish this just before 10 o'clock because I want to watch telly. Yes. You announce it. Oh, Fiona is 24. X, Thanks, Fiona. Huh? The X Factor. The X Factor. No, it's Big Brother. Oh, the other show, yeah. I was watching, uh, you, 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 uh, you see, stopped you see, me. Wait, wait a second, sorry. X Factor, no, Big Brother. Oh, the other show. Like, there's only two shows on television. There's other shows. No. It's like, we've no, got that, those we, other do, show, we have a shows much bigger your, choice these days. The, no, this is the show I know you are watching currently. Uh, yeah, Factor and like Big Brother. That's what I mean. It's, oh, the other show you like to watch. Well, it's, it's not just normal Big Brother. It's, uh, it's, the, it's eviction night. So um, every Friday there's eviction night. And then no, I, think no. I think there's only one week left till the end, and then it won't be on television anymore. So my you, you must have closed down again. It's closed down again. Well, I, I stopped watching the last episode of the, the season finale of the newest Daredevil season right now for okay. our little... And, 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 and I'm thankful for it because I really got to stop watching these, these shows. They're winding me up. It's... it's it's so unnerving. It's, it's, on the one hand, bad, bad screenplay, bad writing. The dialogues are so... And then this, this violence. I, I, I have a disdain for this, this, this shooting all the time. And the, the dialogues are so stupid. Oh, God. I'm, Why do you I'm happy watch it's... it? Yeah, because I've started it and I'm like, you know, I, I want to finish all the series I've started. Sorry, and... I've got to stop you there. Fiona's just written, apparently they're in talks with putting Big Brother on Netflix. What for? Wow. What? What, what for? No, Channel 5, who currently do it, they've stopped. No, I mean, what for? To what point? Well, uh, to show it, to, big... to, to produce it, to show it. It's got a big following. Yeah. Do, you don't realise people... Um, okay, for me, I was trying to figure out why I like it why I like some of the reality stuff is because everything you, we watch on telly, including the news, is scripted. Yeah. All the, the best dramas, it's, obviously it's scripted, isn't it? Um, yeah. 
the soaps, they're scripted. So to actually see people just be, just talk normally, it's quite nice just to see that normal dialogue. I get what you mean. I get what you mean, yeah. These people are unfiltered. Yeah, so I quite like that. But So if it does go on big Netflix, I'll be happy. I'll watch it. I've got Netflix. Oh, well. So I, I, that'll, be very, that'll be better as well. They'll make it a better show because Netflix... Well, basically, Netflix will just take the whole production company on probably that are already making it anyway and probably give them even more money to make it into a better show. So, brilliant. I hope they do. I'll watch it. I've, I've, never, I've never watched Big Brother because even the title, you know, I, I have read... 1984 too much, so I am put off by the title alone. And then, you know, no, 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 stop. I, I, no, I must stop myself now. I must not enclose my personal vision for per is, TV. Well, the television I'm show isn't isn't based on that. It's you know, it's. I know, I it's, know. It, it started. Only, it's. Did it Scandinavia? I think it started. It started uh, or, 20 years ago, 20 years ago here in Germany, even in the 90s. It started here in the 90s. It was a big, big deal back then when they had the first season on. And a, a, a car mechanic from uh, southern Germany or so became a, such a folk hero and he was dumb as a doornail. It was really, yeah, I, I've never bothered to watch well, I've, Not I've even... watched it from the beginning, like in this country. I think the first series, season was, or series, whatever, was either 2000 or 99, I forget. 2000, probably. Yeah, yeah that's time spent. There was, yeah, there was a builder, a builder won it, called Craig. And I've watched, apart from, there was one year that I didn't have a television. Uh, so I didn't watch any, I didn't watch it that, that year. And... Another year, for, I think there was two seasons, two series that I didn't watch properly. But every year, pretty much since it started, I've watched. And yeah, if, I don't know, if you some like, some people it. don't like it. It's like the X Factor. I've watched every single one of those, but it's not not every. It's not every. It, uh, you know, it's, we we like what we like, don't we? Yeah, and and you're it's, totally entitled to it. I'm not judging. It's just. Yeah. I have not had a TV device in my home since I moved out from those two nut jobs called parents back when I was 17. Really, I don't own a TV. I have never owned one. I don't have the, the longing for a TV program because I think if I want to dumb down myself, I, ca I can control what I do on the internet. And, and TV is so... Wow. I have this, is, this is you without watching television. I have not watched... Imagine what you'd be like if you did watch television and if, if TV I would dumped much, you down. <laughs> I, would, I would be much, much, much more <laughs> com compliant, system compliant. I don't see, I don't feel that way because I, I watch television and pretty much everyone that I've ever met nearly watches television. And I don't... I, I like television. I don't like everything that's on it. I like to watch documentaries. I like to learn things. I like to be entertained as well. Um, I've to been each brought, day? I've I've been brought up. You to, what? It's been something that I've liked. Even when I was at school, I used to look forward to getting home to watch um, Spider Man on telly or uh, The Bionic yeah. Man. Or I'd look forward to that. That's what got me through being at school. Is you are, to you are one of the you are one of the relics of the relics from the the age who grown up as an adult without internet yeah what I was your know. first interaction on the internet what was the first thing you, you don't did? want to know <laughs> no yeah. my first it, i was the first time i discovered the internet i was probably uh 29 <laughs> 30 i was about 29 yeah, maybe yeah. 28 when I first yeah. discovered the internet and it was so slow and it was really, it took forever <laughs> to, to upload a picture, a, you know. A picture? Uh, ah, yes, a picture. Or a page, a page, I'm just saying. It's, yeah. And um, it was very slow 
the I, I started building websites in 2000. So the beginning of 2000, my cousin was building a website and I yeah. got interested. And there's something about the code. It was HTML. I, w HTML. I was going to say back then there was only HTML. The only it was that, we started being HTM, then it became HTML. Then it was HTML X or something like that. I don't know. And then PHP But, and PHP. Well, I kind of, I built my own websites between 2000 and 2005. So I built them from code for the, all those years. And then I started using website builders online because it was easier. Yeah. I kind of wish I hadn't now. I wish I'd sort of put a bit more energy and effort because I could have, I might have been quite good at it if I stuck at it. <clears throat> But well, I was, I was 17 when I had my first job training. And part of that, because I was clerk, part of that was being introduced to the internet and this was the first time i got internet uh, in the office and that was when it all went downhill it was i wasn't one of the most uh, 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 the, the most serious cases uh, my uh, uh, boss told me they once had a, uh, a guy a trainee who was so addicted and unable to let go of the internet when there was a, a, a class that they had to pluck off, uh, pluck off the, the, the keyboard and had to take away literally the keyboard from him so he could not uh, browse on the internet, but I was bad. Uh, my, jo my, boss, uh, my bosses always had like, you know, we were in there from eight uh, to five, literally mm. the nine to five, and I was there sometimes at, at, at six in the evening still sitting on the internet and my boss came in man, you got to go. This is not an internet cafe. What are you thinking? And it did not, it did not do me any favor. And uh, yeah, from 2007 on, I've got my own internet. And I used to, yeah, I remember I used to, I used to go to an internet cafe. Um, That was what I did early before. Days, I, like, yeah. we're talking like 2000, 99, 2000. And for me, it was, it was, It was just a bit better than sitting in my bedroom using the internet to go somewhere. I could have a coffee. I could, at least I was out. You know, at least I was yeah. outside. And um, the internet was slow everywhere. It, the, 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 it did start to be a precursor to broadband. I forget what it was called now. ADSL or ASL or AID something where... Yeah, people were starting to because I had a friend that was selling ADSL, it. ADSL, I I think first came ADSL and now there was VDSL. Okay, yeah. V. So and now lot. they we have the glass fiber thing. Yeah, but when that started, no one really had it. Everyone was like doing, yeah, you know that that modem uh, 56k yeah. or ISDN. I remember when one. In, in in the in the village where I lived with my parents, uh, you got to imagine two thousand people. It was a peasant village, just but fuck no, uh, um, yeah, you know, like but fuck nowhere. And and one one family <laughs> in can't our stop yourself from saying it, can you? Even if you stop yourself from saying it, you still well. You mean you mean but fuck nowhere? <laughs> Every time you say that, people move, people leave the room. Who? Uh. <laughs> oh, I gotta say, a, a friend of mine from my old school is watching. Apparently, you know where he lives? No. He lives. He lives in a place that's also but fuck nowhere, like three three uh, streets. He's 6, watching 000. this now. Yeah, it, it, Kevin, are you there? Hello. Yes, it says Kevin has. Kevin. Kevin is watching. Kevin, yeah, Kevin is a pal from my. School I was recently, where I got my degree. Do yeah, you, is this um, showing on your page as well? Then is it? Yeah, it, it says to me. There's his picture, and it says, "Yeah, face palm." There he has written face palm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, this is Jason, and we have been. Yeah, I don't know what we have been since ten years acquaintance. Yeah, it seems to be forever, doesn't it? Yeah, and 
I tell you, one day, one day he will go out of your house, and then, then you will one directly. Day I, you could just leave that sentence there. One day I will go out of my house. One day I will leave here and actually go outside and do something interesting. <laughs> one day. Well, we were talking about internet. Yes, and and in in the peasant village where I grew up. One family in our neighborhood had the first ISDN telephone, which means a flat rate, which means you could call everywhere in in, in internet uh, in, in Germany, and it didn't cost much. Can you imagine what that what that caused? Everybody ran there. Ah, can I call somebody? And I remember when I was 13 years old with my best friend back then, who was of that family. Andre, at, at New sorry. At New Year's Eve, <laughs> we made prank calls. We 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 uh, talk, We told the the people we called we would be from a radio station. I can't remember, but it it, it backfired. So that was are you, ISDN. Are you reading what's on there? So Fiona says, "How did you both meet?" Well, uh, what was I it? was YouTube. Into- yeah, 2008, I was in the search for relaxation. And um, I don't know, there was a big guy called Jay, Jay Anspire. He was one of the, the, he was the biggest hypnotist uh, in early YouTube history. What, bigger than Adini? Uh, come on. Adini <laughs> was big. He was one of the top, top hypnotists in the early days. Well, no, Jay Anspire ha, ha, is still now and then uploading. He has he had a, a huge following. You cannot yeah. compare you cannot compare YouTube 2006 to this nowadays. It was oh, I know, a totally yeah. totally different community. It was so nice and and so I was browsing and then I saw this Buddhist J channel. Buddhist J. I forgot about that. And I've yeah. I've clicked on one of the videos. It was a, a, a progressive muscle relaxation, muscle relaxation. And at first, I I've heard a wind, a wind howling noise. And then this voice came, "Hello, and welcome to www dot." Jason Newland. dot com. My name is Jason Newland, <laughs> and, and by that I was so I thought okay, and 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 I, his voice did not work out. His voice did not work for me. So <laughs> I, I, I I forgot about him, and one day I don't know it. My mind went, hello and welcome to www dot, and I was like, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should go back with that uncle again and then MySpace, that was a time when MySpace had had its heyday, remember? Yeah, I was talking about MySpace at the beginning of this thing that's where but I, think, I started but I, I think our real first interactions where I, I exposed myself to you did not start before properly 2009 when uh, Facebook, when I started out on, mm. uh, when I registered well, the Facebook. Mr. You used to um, keep Mr. Ge- Mr. Keyboard Man or something, weren't you? Oh, that was, was that? my first YouTube thing and, and, and uh, my first YouTube account. And my, my thing was in my... Mm, Hola, buenas noches. Ah, buenas noches uh, a tu. If that was right. Sofia says hello. Uh, and, no, she's and, and, now, and, and now it says analis, hola, analis. buenas. Hello, 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 hello. Hola, 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 hola buenas. Yeah, hola buenas noches hello. means. Buenas is people, no? Buenas noches means good night, uh, good evening. Good evening. Hollas, yeah. bonus, not just back to yes. you. Well, uh, 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 I was starting out in my... That was the flat before the flat I just left, you know, mm. uh, two flats ago. And, and, and uh, that, that 
a flat I, I no I will not disclose that one but I, I made picture, uh, videos of myself with my keyboard and I showed people how to play Rammstein songs on my keyboard back then and I, at one at one video I remember vividly I was topless and I talked for 15 minutes to show 10 seconds of video of of playing I talked about the song and how it is and that and that but I I showed 10 seconds of explaining of tutorial but this is a bit like got... me with my hypnosis sessions I do the introduction it lasts about 20 minutes and then just do a it little got... bit of hypnosis it gotten me into an official YouTube musician group. It was like from YouTube, the company, an invitation yeah. to, a, to to musicians who are doing something worth. It, I created something there, and people really were attracted to me. But then I lost all interest in it. I don't remember why, because circumstances also. And nowadays, it's so hilarious what you find. You find people who have the original drums, the original guitar, the original everything, and they are covering the whole song. You have people who are uploading um, samples from the band who are so much more... That market is saturated. I wouldn't do anything if I would do it again. But this is how I found you, uh, as in Jason Newland, uh, Buddhist J. And I remember when I downloaded one of your MP3s and I played it in Windows Media Player, it had an interesting artist name, but I will not disclose that. That was very weird. An interesting artist name. Yeah, it, it didn't change. It didn't say Jason Newland. All right, I got. I've, I've got to go. I've got someone at my door. Yeah, well, we've, got, yeah. we've got to come to an end anyway. So, thank you to everyone for your <laughs> lovely comments and for joining me. And I'm going to go. Bye. All right. Thanks, Sebastian. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'll speak we, to you we, anyway we, online. We must do this more often. It's well, I plan to be back here next Friday at 8 o'clock. It was evening. not too deranged. It was not too deranged, wasn't it? So, bye, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. See you later. I don't want to stop this. Okay. Bye. And please, please don't send me your therapist bills if you talk about it in therapist sessions. <laughs> See ya. Bye.